uh, this tutorial is about performing uh, multiple sequence alignment uh, using some sequences uh, protein sequences and then generating a phylogenetic tree to show what is the relationship between those sequences so first of all what is uh, multiple sequence alignment multiple sequence alignment actually means that uh, we use uh, more than two sequences and align them and find any conserved sites between the sequences so for that uh, we will use uh, the most uh, widely used method uh, which is available online later on we will use uh, different techniques and more complicated techniques to identify the uh, the purpose or the or the functions of multiple sequence alignment and phylogenetic tree here uh, we'll just run the basic uh, run the basics of multiple sequence alignment and uh, there are multiple tools uh, which can be used for multiple sequence alignment like Laline, uh, Maline uh, and Clustol Omega, Clustol W. All are, uh, the purpose of all of them are similar that we use multiple sequence alignment, do multiple sequence alignment, but uh, there are some slight differences in their algorithms. So first of all, let's uh, use Clustol Omega. And this is available on the European Bioinformatics Institute website that is AVI and uh, you just have to search for multiple sequence alignment tool and uh, this link will be popped up and you just have to click it and here you can see that uh, what is the first step that we have to enter the input sequences right and tool can align 4000 sequences uh, right so here we are just we will not uh, submit 4000 but we will submit some some sequences let's say i have a list of sequences keep in mind that all these sequences should be in fasta format that is the greater than sign and the description of the g sequence and then the uh, protein or nucleotide sequence so i'll just select all these sequences of one family that is mtfr1 mtfr1 gene i just copy that and i'll paste it here right now these sequences after uh, putting the sequences we just we'll just uh, keep that the cluster w format there are different formats for example nexus is another format file is another tool and uh, used to generate uh, the multiple sequence alignment phylogenetic tree we will just keep that as cluster w format because we are using this and then click submit when we click submit it will just filter and uh, process all the parameters which we have selected and then uh, it will show uh, pop up another window where it will be saying that your job is currently running and <coughs> and uh, depending on the internet quality and the number of sequences the it will show you the the result right so here you can see that uh, now we have the output of uh, the sequences we inserted this was MTFR1 gene and that and that gene sequence in multiple species starting from for example homo means homo sapiens, pan, pantrolodites, pongo these are all primates and then calithrus uh, primate and then canis dog, ratus, rat, mouse and birds so these are multiple species of the same gene and here you can see that this multiple sequence alignment starting from this N terminal to the last to here C terminal here you can see that there are there is a huge similarity between the all the sequences because it is expected because uh, the gene is same but the species are different so there will be slight variation in the species uh, for example here you can see that all the sequences M for first word that is M M is all is, is conserved between all the species but there is one gap at this point where macaca mulata that is monkey here you can see that there are gaps in the beginning but uh, maybe there's a possible deletion of this region in macaque because you can see that in the ancestors that is birds and rat uh, and dog the an ancestors there are there is a presence of this sequence and the descendant those are uh, gorilla <coughs> human there's the there's presence again presence of this sequence it means that there is a deletion of macaca mulata uh, in macaca mulata of this nucleotide sequence that is of around 30 minus 60 minus 38 that will be 22 uh, amino acid sequence 
then here you can see that starting from here all the sequences are conserved almost 100% uh, conservation but at some points in the first you can see here there is a slight variation at this point here you can column will tell you that here H in in bird uh, compared to others and if we move forward here you can see that is a variation so y that now it's clear to you that the steric means that all of them are 100% conserved colon means that there is some variation at some site for example here and then dot means that there are more than one variation like here you can say t is a present a is present and then v is present so there are multiple <coughs> sequences at this site so clearly you can see that there is a highly similar region from start to end of the sequence but with slight variations and then you can see that um, if you want to go to the phylogenetic tree uh, or you can first check the result summary so all the summary is available here from input sequences tool uh, alignment and cluster all uh, format tree phylogenetic tree these are the links of all the results but this particularly if you want to go to the phylogenetic tree here you can see that based on the alignment score the uh, it has clustered all the sequences together and uh, similarly you can see that the birds are clustering together gallus and tineopatia these are two different bird species uh, sequences and they are clustered together so their sequences are similar then rodents are clustered together and then uh, the rest of the primates are uh, closely linked uh, compared to the other species so this would uh, help you to understand that how those sequences are related other than that if you want to uh, check uh, using the tool output uh, you can just click here and you can see that all the uh, distance calculation for each sequence compared to other sequences is given here similar to the other options but this tutorial was about uh, the multiple sequence alignment how you can see the conserve and non-conserve sites and how <coughs> and just uh, clicking the uh, phylogenetic tree you can get the default <coughs> phylogenetic tree where it is clearly telling you that how the sequences are related and uh, this is a real phylogenetic tree means that the actual distance between the species we will talk that about later in our phylogenetic analysis options thank you